Musk has transformed numerous industries, from revolutionizing payments with PayPal to reshaping the automobile industry with Tesla and pushing forward sustainable energy with Solar City. However, few would have predicted that someone without a formal background in aerospace engineering would make significant inroads in rocket technology. Rockets are among the most complex machines ever engineered. The saying, it's not rocket science, is used to describe tasks that aren't particularly difficult for good reason. Interestingly, the most challenging part of a rocket to engineer is its engines. Yet Musk is achieving remarkable progress in redefining how rocket engines are developed and manufactured, showing that with enough innovation and determination, even the most formidable technological challenges can be overcome. Recently, he revealed the most advanced engine SpaceX has ever developed, along with its groundbreaking features that made headlines. We will dive into the details of this engine in this video. Before we go any further, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates. SpaceX started the development of the Raptor engine in the early 2010s, with the intent to replace the Merlin engines used in their Falcon rockets. The Merlin engines, although highly successful, were limited in their capacity to support Musk's vision of interplanetary travel. The Raptor was conceived to be a more powerful and efficient engine, utilizing full-flow staged combustion technology. This design significantly improves the engine's efficiency and power. The first prototype of the Raptor engine was tested in 2016. Over the years, the Raptor has undergone various modifications and upgrades. The specifications of these engines have evolved dramatically, from the initial test versions producing around 100,000 pounds of thrust to the more recent Raptor 2 versions, which have achieved thrust levels of approximately 230 tons. The most recent announcement on Twitter by Musk regarding the future specifications of the Raptor engine highlighted that the engine's thrust capacity is projected to exceed 700,000 pounds. Historically, some of the most powerful rocket engines, such as the Saturn V's F-1 and Russia's RD-180, have set remarkable benchmarks in the field of rocketry. The F-1 engine, which powered the mighty Saturn V, still holds the record for the highest thrust ever produced by a single combustion chamber, delivering about 1.5 million pounds of thrust. This immense power enabled the Apollo missions to send astronauts to the moon, making it a legendary piece of engineering. On the other hand, the RD-180, which is used primarily on the Atlas V rocket, is renowned for its efficient use of staged combustion technology. Despite these historical achievements, these engines were designed with technologies and materials available many decades ago, under conditions that are vastly different from those faced by engineers today. In contrast, SpaceX's Raptor engine is designed with reusability as a core principle, reflecting SpaceX's strategy of reducing space travel costs through recoverable and reusable rockets. Unlike the single-use F-1 and RD-180, the Raptor engines are intended to fly multiple missions, requiring less refurbishment between flights. This reusability is crucial for the economics of SpaceX's broader ambitions, such as Mars colonization. The journey towards Musk's goal of achieving over 700,000 pounds of thrust includes transitioning to a new iteration of the Raptor engine, which has already achieved significant thrust improvements in testing phases. The Raptor 2 was capable of producing a thrust of about 230 tons, or approximately 500,000 pounds. While already powerful, SpaceX aimed to increase these capabilities with the Raptor 3. In tests conducted last May, Raptor 3 achieved a thrust of about 593,000 pounds. Although this was below the ultimate goal, it significantly exceeded the thrust output of the Raptor 2. Musk's mention of aiming for a booster engine capable of over 330 tons of thrust, equating to an astounding 727,000 pounds, is remarkable. What makes these numbers even more significant is the synergy of these engines with the Super Heavy Booster, which can host up to 33 Raptor engines. This combination is expected to produce a liftoff thrust of about nearly 24 million pounds, potentially making it the most powerful launch vehicle ever developed, surpassing the legendary Saturn V. However, 
Developing a rocket engine that can achieve such performance involves complex engineering challenges, particularly in improving the thrust-to-weight ratio, specific impulse, and overall reliability. A higher thrust-to-weight ratio means a more efficient engine that can carry more payload relative to its weight. Improving this ratio involves optimizing the engine design to reduce weight while maximizing thrust, which can be achieved through the use of advanced materials and innovative manufacturing techniques, such as 3D printing of engine components. Improving these parameters involves a complex balance of engineering choices, including material selection, engine design, and advanced combustion techniques. For instance, enhancing the thrust-to-weight ratio typically involves reducing the engine's mass while maintaining or increasing thrust, a challenging feat given the technical complexities involved. Reliability is perhaps the most critical attribute, representing the engine's ability to perform consistently under various conditions without failure. Each Raptor engine undergoes rigorous testing to ensure it can withstand the harsh conditions of launch and space travel. SpaceX's iterative design process allows each engine version to build on the learnings from previous versions, gradually enhancing reliability and performance. Despite some challenges, we were all impressed by how well the engines performed across all three Starship launches. On the third flight, all 33 Raptor engines were ignited, successfully lifting the massive rocket. The engines continued to operate effectively until the separation stage, where the Super Heavy's 30 engines shut down and the Starship's six engines took over for the spacebound leg of the journey. The Super Heavy booster performed admirably during the test, reaching a peak speed of 5,750 km per hour and an altitude of 106 km. It attempted a landing burn close to the surface but ultimately experienced a failure and disintegrated just above the water. Despite this, the main ship continued its mission, inserting itself into the correct suborbital trajectory and completing its first full-duration engine burn. The first test flight ended prematurely due to issues that included the loss of thrust vector control and early engine shutdowns, which led to the vehicle entering an uncontrolled spin and the subsequent activation of the flight termination system. The second test flight introduced hot staging techniques. This flight saw all 33 engines fire correctly, and the vehicle performed a successful hot staging separation. However, the flight ended in failure due to an energetically failed engine and other technical issues that affected the booster and upper stage. Considering how each test has shown improvement over the previous one, it makes you wonder how successful the fourth launch will be. The fourth test flight of SpaceX's Starship is planned for early May 2024. Unlike the first three flights, which focused on various aspects of flight dynamics and system integrity, the fourth flight aims to enhance and test re-entry procedures and improve landing techniques to ensure that both the Super Heavy booster and Starship can be recovered successfully. SpaceX's president indicated that for this flight, SpaceX is concentrating on perfecting the re-entry and landing processes rather than deploying payloads like satellites. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.